Well, we are tracking a new possible tropical disturbance forming in the Gulf of Mexico, all while communities in the region deal with the aftermath of Tropical Storm Alberto. The first named storm of the season made landfall yesterday, bringing heavy rain and flooding to parts of Texas and Mexico. CBS News national correspondent Dave Malkoff joins us now from Corpus Christi, Texas. So, Dave, what is it looking like? And I see the wind is kicking up those waves behind you. Hi, Lindsay. You can see the camera bouncing as well. The wind is the big problem, and I really feel bad for the folks who are living here in North Beach, Corpus Christi, because this is day three now that they're going through with all this storm surge. That's what's pushing the wind up here. I want to point you to where I'm standing. It looks like I'm standing on the beach, right, Lindsay? But uh, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see that that's a parking meter right there. This is not the beach. So the parking lot is right here. Then it goes a little seawall. Then there's another 50 feet to the water on a normal day. So that is what is left behind from Tropical Storm Alberto, which became Tropical Depression Alberto and Tropical Nothing Alberto right now because it is gone. It's in the history books. There is a Wikipedia article for Tropical Storm Alberto 2024. So we are still feeling the effects of it on day three right here with all this flooding and all this wind. And it's just really, really heartbreaking for the people not only who live here, but who are vacationing here and the people who have businesses here as well. So what else is whipping up out there? What does that mean for the areas still seeing the effects of Alberto? The bad part of it is that the ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, all of the sea surface temperature in this area of the world is very warm. And that is the fuel for these storms. We have two areas of interest right now that the National Hurricane Center in Miami are looking at. Number one is over right off of the Yucatan Peninsula, and that is at 50 percent of development in the next 48 hours. So it could develop into some kind of tropical depression, tropical storm, hurricane, possibly uh, in the next uh, days coming up. But there is another system that is identical to that, and it looks a little weaker, but uh, it is still at 50 percent of development in the next 48 hours. That is off the coast of Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. So we've got these two that is a 50-50 shot of something happening in the next 48 hours. Not landfall, but just development, Lindsay. Dave Malkoff giving us, giving us the conditions on the ground and the forecast. Appreciate you.